A building block is anything you can select within your document that you want to save a copy of so that later on you can reuse it and insert it into another document. That can be really helpful, right? Because let's say that I got my lemon essential oil image here, also the title, and then the website that you can purchase my essential oils from. And I want to be able to include that in all my monthly newsletters. So somebody creates a newsletter, instead of me taking that newsletter and recreating this, I can go ahead and just select it here, save it once as a building block, and then just insert it over and over again into all the other documents or newsletters that we create throughout the year. Pretty cool. So to go ahead and save this as a building block, which by the way, what is a building block? Well, it's something that you're building with blocks of what? Well, this is one block, the image. The other block is the title, and then the website. You get the idea, right? Okay, let's go ahead and click and drag to select it. Now notice that when I select it, I not only select the image and also the text here, but the extra paragraphs. I mean, that will be saved into your building block, so when you insert this building block that you just saved into another document, it'll also add the extra line above and the lines below, whatever you have selected, so be careful. And so I'm thinking, huh, I don't want those extra uh, paragraphs, so let me come up here on the Home tab to the Paragraph group, click on my Show Hide Code so I can see exactly what I'm working with here. So I have this paragraph above, then I have a paragraph, and within the paragraph is the title and the image, so let me go ahead and click just to the left of it, so I'm on the same line as that uh, second paragraph marker. Then I'll click and drag over to the right so I can select the uh, image and the title and then go down one so I can select the second paragraph marker and what's included there is the web link. And then I'll come up here and turn off the codes. Okay, that looks good. So I just want to save that and not the extra paragraph above or below it. Now to save it as a building block, come up here, click on the insert tab, go to the text group. Now you're thinking, wait, we're not inserting. Well, you have to go this route to be able to click on the quick parts drop down arrow and to save your selection. Now it says that you can save your selection to the Quick Part Gallery, and this is the Quick Parts, right? The Quick Parts contains the building blocks or the organizer, and so what that means is that it allows us to go ahead into the organizer and edit and delete our building block, but first we have to save it. So we save the selection, but again it's talking about to the Quick Parts Gallery. Well, the Quick Parts here is when you click on the drop down arrow, what's the gallery? Well, when you click on the text box, the drop down arrow, you see a gallery of built-in templates. A gallery, think of it this way, when you go to a museum, you see all those different pictures? That's a gallery of pictures that you see at the museum. So you got a gallery of pictures that you see here, or text boxes, that you get a preview before you actually select it, click on it to insert it. Okay, so that's what it means here when you click on the Quick Parts drop-down arrow. Then when you save the selection, it'll also, if you'd like, and I'll show you how to change it, as a gallery image within the Quick Parts drop-down arrow. Now keep in mind, you may not be able to easily remember this, that, hey, I want to save it as a building block. Let me look up here on the ribbon to find a building block. Again, it's under the Quick Parts. And when you hover over Quick Parts, it tells you the purpose of it is to insert reusable pieces of content, and that's exactly what a building block is. When you click on it, it's sitting right there. But you also have other Quick Parts you can insert as well, which we'll discuss in just a minute. So building blocks is a part of the Quick Parts. But before we can go ahead again and work with building blocks and make changes to it, we have to save it first. Click on Save. It opens it up. And again, there it is, the gallery. It wants to save it to the Quick Park Gallery. Remember how I talked about the text box gallery? You can actually click on the drop-down arrow and save it to the text boxes gallery. I mean, if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it and click off and save it to the Quick Parts Gallery so we can see what it looks like when I'm done here. And what's the name? We'll call it the Lemon. The lemon essential oil image hidden. Well, you can only type in so much for the name here, and then it stops you, so that's as far as I can go. Quick Parts Gallery, what category do we want to save it to? General, or do you want to click on the drop down arrow and create a new one? Call it Essential Oils and click OK, because maybe later on, next year I change it from lemon to lavender, but I want to keep track of the original building block that I saved, so that's why I named it lemon under the category Essential Oils, so next year, I can go ahead and have a lavender essential oil bottle and save it as lavender but under the category essential oils so I can have many under one category that's all about essential oils. Okay, You can go ahead and type in a description that this is a lemon oil image with heading and website link. Okay, You can save it in the default building blocks or the normal document template. I recommend the building blocks and then the options is you can insert content only or you can insert the content into its own paragraph or insert the content into its own page so it gets its entire page. Well, I just want to insert the content only, nothing extra. 
When I'm finished, go ahead and click Okie Dokie, and it does a couple of things. One is that I saved it to the Quick Parts Gallery, and just like when you click on the text box drop down arrow, you get a gallery of different text boxes, built in templates you can choose from. Well, click on the Quick Parts, and boom, hey, oh, that's cool. You get an image of the building block that we just saved that you can go ahead and click on it to insert it. I mean, it can't squeeze everything into it, but it squeezes just enough so you can get an idea of what you're about to uh, insert here. So let me click off in a blank area, go File, come down to New, and let's create a new blank document. Double click, and then let's go back up to the Insert tab, to the Text group, click on Quick Parts. Oh, that's so cool. Go ahead and click on it to insert it, and hey, that's easy, isn't it? That saves a lot of time so I don't have to insert the image again, recreate the title, and then type in the website link. Just go ahead and do it once, save it as a building block, and then any other documents that you want to insert it into, it's right under there in the Quick Parts Gallery. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this document, not save it, and go back to my original here. Now if you want to make some modifications to your building block, well, just come up here on the Insert tab to the Text Group, click on the Quick Parts, and you can either right click, if you have it in the gallery that is, and notice when I right click you have other insert options, and then just clicking on it. You can insert it at the page footer, insert it at the beginning of a section, in any case. You can come down here, click on Edit Properties, it brings up the Modify Building Block window, in which case you can go ahead, you know, type in a new name, uh, put it in another gallery category, let me go ahead and click Cancel, or you can come back up here, click on the drop down arrow, right click on it again, and go down to Organize and Delete, click on that, brings up the building blocks organizer. Now, automatically it has mine selected, but if you can't see it, let me go ahead and click off, and you're like, hmm, let me scroll to the top. Where is it? Well, if you remember the name that you gave it, go ahead and click on the uh, header bar to sort it, and it sorts it descendingly for that uh, column. I can scroll down to the L's, and there it is, Lemon Essential, select it, and you can see the preview of it over here. I can go ahead and click on Edit Properties, brings up the same window, or I can delete it, close out, or click on the drop down arrow. This building block organizer brings up the same window that you can go ahead and scroll down, select it, edit the properties, or delete it. Now, the only thing that you're not able to do is to go ahead and actually modify the building block itself, only the properties. So if I want to go ahead and modify the building block itself, like let's say I want to include the paragraph above when I click and drag and select it and include the extra lines down below, then what I have to do is when I save it, Insert tab to text group, click on the drop down arrow to save selection. I have to type in the exact same name as the original one that I just saved to overwrite it. So the only way you can modify it is to go ahead and reselect what you want and then to overwrite the original. So I have to have the same name. Also have to have it in the same gallery, quick parts, and also the same category, essential oils. Click OK. It says, do you want to redefine the building block entry? basically override it, we can say yes, and now it includes the extra paragraph above and the two down below. Cool, okay. And then with the modifications, as far as the properties go, you know, click on the drop down arrow, and you can go to the building block organizer again, and you can sort it by name, or you can sort it by category, click on that and scroll down and find it. And there it is, essential oils. So if I had other building blocks with the same category, they'd be grouped together you know, essential oils, essential oils like general, 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 and so on. In any case, you can select it, click on Edit Properties. Instead of having it in the Quick Parts Gallery, I can change it and, you know, like I said, put it in the Text Boxes Gallery, which is fine. Or if I don't want to put it in the Gallery, click on the drop-down arrow and choose, well, Custom 1. What is Custom 1? Well, whatever you want it to be. Basically, I haven't found a gallery in Word yet that shows all the custom galleries here. In any case, select it, click OK. You sure you want to redefine it? Say yes. And it's in the gallery custom here. Click on that to sort it. And then scroll down. There it is, custom one. So when I close out and I click on the quick parts drop down arrow, it's not in that gallery. But it's sitting there as a building block here for me to go ahead and make changes to it by scrolling down, select it, and editing the properties. And like I said, edit. I mean, I know you're just uh, tempting me to select another gallery text boxes. Click OK. Redefine it. Yes, close out text boxes, click on the drop down arrow, scroll down to, well, it's alphabetical, the L's then the M's, and it's right there, so, hey, pretty cool. Right click, and we can organize and delete, meaning that I can either make changes or finally delete it, say yes, and close out, it's no longer there, so I can't insert it from the text box gallery, scroll down to the L's, it was the L before the M, and it's not there, so we've gotten rid of it.
Okay, there are other building blocks you can choose from. Let me come down here and click on my essential oils document to bring that up so we can insert and see what the other building blocks look like and how it interacts with other text within the document here. Insert to text group. Click on the quick parts drop down arrow. Building blocks organizer. Let me come over here and sort it by clicking on the uh, column header here name. And then I'm going to scroll down to the P's here. And let's take a look at puzzle sidebar. So there's the building block. When I insert it, you can get a preview of what it's going to insert here. Big huge text box with some text down below. Click on insert. And wow. That's kind of cool as far as the color goes. Then I can go ahead and of course type in the text box there, whatever text that I want to type in it. So if you have time and you want to go through all those other building blocks to see what they are, what they can insert, extra text boxes, different types of text boxes, and uh, even page numbers, which is something that we learned how to do in our headers and footers training video. But you can also find a fancy page number within the building blocks as well. In any case, thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.